Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will discuss about strong and weak arguments. What is a strong argument? An argument is a strong argument if it has higher probability for the conclusion to be true. It is important to note that a strong argument may not be a valid argument. Let us try to understand strong and weak arguments with the help of few examples. 90% of humans are non-vegetarian. Smith is a human. Therefore, Smith is a non-vegetarian. In this argument, the conclusion is very likely to be true. Why do I say that the conclusion is very likely to be true? Because premise 1 says, 90% of humans are non-vegetarian. 90% is a very high value. So from this premise, we can conclude that Smith is a non-vegetarian because he is a human being. So we treat this argument as a strong argument. Let's try to look at one more example. 10% of humans are vegetarian. Jane is a human. Therefore, Jane is a vegetarian. In this argument, the conclusion is very likely to be false. But why do I say that the conclusion is very likely to be false? Because premise 1 says 10% of humans are vegetarian. Here, 10% is a very low value. So from this we cannot conclude that Jane is a vegetarian just because she is a human. Hence we treat this argument as a weak argument. Let's look at one more example. Most of the men drink whiskey. Robin is a man. Therefore Robin drinks whiskey. In this argument the conclusion is very likely to be true. Why do I say that the conclusion is very likely to be true? Because in premise 1, it says most of the men drink whiskey. The phrase most of the men, it represents a very high range of values. So from this we can conclude that Robin drinks whiskey because he is a man. Hence we treat this argument as a strong argument. What actually distinguishes among a valid argument, a strong argument, and a weak argument? Let us try to understand this with the help of a table. In a valid argument, the conclusion is always a certain. If the premises were to be true, then the conclusion must necessarily follow. But in a strong argument, the conclusion has a high probability to become true. But in a weak argument, the conclusion has got a very low probability for it to become true. But what are the acceptable values for high probability and low probability? In fact, it is a very difficult question to answer. But a value greater than or equal to 90% can be treated as high probability. And a value less than or equal to 50% can be treated as low probability. Interpretation of any other value depends collectively upon the arguer, reader or listener and the context. Are there any keywords which can help us to identify strong and weak arguments? Yes, there are certain keywords which can help us to identify strong and key arguments. The keywords all, most, Almost all such keywords represent strong arguments. And the keywords some, few, only few, they represent weak arguments. Let us try to understand these things with the help of few more examples. Some women drink whiskey. Roslyn is a woman. Therefore, Roslyn drinks whiskey. In this argument, the conclusion is very likely to be false. Why do I say the conclusion in this argument is very likely to be false? Because premise 1 says, some women drink whiskey. The words some women 
represent a group of women which contains very less number of women who drink whiskey. So there is very less probability for Rosalind to be a part of that group. That is why I say the conclusion is very likely to be false. Hence this argument can be treated as a weak argument. Let us try to understand this with one more example. Almost all women like music. Deborah is a woman. Therefore, Deborah likes music. In this argument, the conclusion is very likely to be true. Why do I say the conclusion is very likely to be true? Because premise 1 says, almost all women like music. The words almost all represent a group of women which contains most of the women. So there is very high probability for Deborah to be part of that group. That's why we can conclude Deborah likes music. So we can say the conclusion is very likely to be true. Hence this argument can be treated as a very strong argument. Now let's go through a summary on strong and weak arguments. An argument is a strong argument if it has higher probability for the conclusion to be true. A strong argument may not be a valid argument. An argument is a weak argument if it has a lower probability for the conclusion to be true.